Hello everyone! Today, we will study about MAPE Art 6. This is Quarter 1, Arts and Computer. Lesson number 5. Basics on creating personal and class logo. In this lesson, you can learn many things about logo designing, most especially the basic shapes that best suit to your logo design and you will experience how to create logo that reflects you and your class identity. A logo is an image that symbolizes your business. Through their all combinations of letters and images, each type of logo gives your brand a different feel. The module aims that a learner creates personal or class logo as visual representation that can be used as a product, brand, or trademark. Learning task number one. Letter A. Look at the artwork below. What do you see in the picture? Where can you find this logo? What kind of shapes are found in the logo? Learning task number two. Read the statements and tell if you agree or not. Write yes if the statement is correct. And no, if not, write your answer in your notebook. Number one, personal logo could be designed to symbolize personalities. Number two, words or text is the only component of a logo. Number three, logo designers just put symbols in their artwork without any symbolism. Number four, your personal experiences can be one of the components in making a personal logo. Number five, symbols are secret messengers. Number six, the kind of color used in logo has something to do with one's personality. Number seven. Symbols used in logos expresses feelings, emotions. Number eight. Memories can be expressed by lines using symbols in logos. Number nine, initials of names can be a personal logo. And number ten, family clan can create their own logo. Here are the answers. Number one, yes. Number two, yes. Number three, no. Number four, yes. And number five, yes. Number six, yes. Number seven, yes. Number eight, no. Number nine, yes. And number ten, yes. Personal logo. Personal logo designers believe that a logo could be designed to symbolize them. How about you? How do you create a logo that represents who you are? Place yourself in a unique position to comment about your life. Create your own projection through a digitally designed self logo experiences the observing 
encountering or undergoing of things generally as they occur in the course of time. To learn from experience. How would you tell people about your life in a logo? What is important to you? Do you love what you do for a living? How do you see yourself in relation to the people or place around you? Symbols A mark or sign or word that indicates, signifies, or understood as representing an idea, object, or relationship. Do certain colors, objects, or shapes bring memories? Do certain faces make you inspired and not to forget? Do letters or numbers represent a group, culture, or organization? After some contemplation, sketch some ideas. Once you have completed some sketches, select one that you feel strongly about. Think about all things that go into the makeup of your identity. Words A written or printed characters representing a spoken word. What words, letters, or phrases have personal meanings to you? Is it the word peace because you think it is what you need? Is it your favorite motto? Is it your family name, own initials, or birthday? What shapes are best in creating logos? Iconic logos can be different. The classic variation is to make the symbol fit to any of the basic geometrical shapes. The best shapes to use are symmetrical, geometrical shapes. They can be placed almost anywhere and still maintain the balance. They are very easy to handle. There is no obligation as to what kind of shape to use. You can use any free form, shape you want, but you have to be careful with the placement of the logo. Particular logo shapes send out particular messages. 1. Circles, ovals, and ellipses tend to project a positive emotional message. Using a circle in a logo can suggest community, friendship, love, relationship, and unity. Rings have the implication of marriage and partnership, suggesting stability and endurance. Curves on any sort tend to be viewed as feminine in nature. Number two, squares and triangles suggest stability in more practical terms and can also be used to imply balance. Straight lines and precise logo shapes also impart strength, professionalism, and efficiency. Number three, straight edge logo shapes such as squares and triangles suggest stability. It has also been suggested that triangles have a good association with power, science, religion, and law. Number four, our subconscious minds associate vertical lines with masculinity, strength, 
and aggression, while horizontal lines suggest community, tranquility, and calm. Personal Logo Design When it comes to determining your personal brand, no one knows better than you. Whether you're traditional, trendy, or tough, the best personal logo is the one that brings your personality to life. You will have a lot of freedom as you start designing your personal brand. So it helps to have some logo design tips to direct your creativity. Personal Logo Design If you are looking to personal logo design, inspiration, and advice, you have to come to the right place. Look logos for someone of the biggest names online to see how others are using fonts, colors, and symbols to brand themselves online. Personal Logo Best Practices 1. Color As you start selecting colors for your logo, don't just look for colors that you like. Look for colors that reflect how you want to be seen. By focusing on the response you want to generate with your personal logo, you will be able to find colors that support your brand and resonate with your audience. Keep your color scheme simple. With no more than two colors max or one bright color paired with black and white. Number two, layout. When you make a logo for yourself, you need to consider where you will be promoting your brand. Will your logo mostly pop up in print? If you are not sure which mediums you will be using, opt for a clean layout which will scale well to fit a variety of applications. Of course, if you want a bit more flexibility, you can always create multiple logo variations for different applications. Typography Your logo typography is a great opportunity to add a personal touch to your personal brand. Many people choose to use script style typefaces since they resemble human handwriting and can make your logo look like a signature. If you choose to go to the script font route, make sure your font is easily readable across a variety of sizes and width. 4. Symbol if you want to add a symbol to your personal logo, make sure it matches your skills, style, and personality. If you will be promoting a particular product or service with your personal brand, your symbol will also need to reflect that. Whatever symbol you choose, check if it scales well and suits your other design elements to create a cohesive impression of your brand. Learning task number three. Letter A. Creating personal logo. What do you need? One, bond paper. Two, pencil. Three, ruler. And four, crayons. What to do? Number one, using a pencil, create a drawing of your personal logo. Number two, be sure the elements and principle of arts were present. Number three, 
finish your artwork on time. Rubric for creating a personal logo. Here are the criteria. Number one, follow all the steps accurately. Number two, all elements and principle of arts were present. Number three, showed creativeness. Number four, finishes the artwork on time. Five points were very evident. Three points were evident. And one point were not evident. Learning task number three, letter B. Look at the pictures below. Identify each one. Write A if words, B if experiences, and C if symbols. Here are the answers. Number one, C symbols is the correct answer. Number two, the correct answer is B, experiences. Number three, the correct answer is B, experiences. Number four, A, words is the correct answer. And number five, the correct answer is symbol. Learning task number four. Write if the statement is true. And F if the statement is false. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one. There is no obligation as to what kind of shape to use in making logos. Number two. Iconic logos can be very different. Number three. Symmetrical, geometrical shapes are the best to use in making logos. Number four, triangles have a good association with power, science, religion, and law. Number five, circles is not used in making logos. Here are the answers. Number one, true. Number two, true. Number three, true. Number four, true. And number five, false. Learning task number four, letter B. Read the statement carefully. Select the letter of the correct answer. Write the answers in your notebook. Question number one. What is the classic variation to make the logo more fit and balanced? A. Shapes B. Sizes C. Numbers Number 2. Iconic logos can be very different. A. True B. False or C. None of the above Number 3. The best shape to use are symmetrical shapes. A. True, B. False, or letter C. None of the above. Number four. The symmetrical geometrical shapes can be anywhere and still maintain blank. A. Color, B. Balance, or C. Size. Number five. Is it good to make the personal logo fit? In any kind of geometrical shape? A. Yes. B. No. C. Maybe. Here are the answers. Number one, what is the basic variation to make the logo more fit and balanced? The correct answer is A. Shapes. Number two, iconic logos can be very different. The correct answer is A. True. Number three, the best shape to use are symmetrical shapes. The correct answer is A. True. Number four, the symmetrical geometrical shapes 
can be anywhere and still maintain the blank? The answer is B, balance. And number five, is it good to make the personal logo fit in any kind of geometrical shape? The correct answer is A, yes. Great job, everyone. Thank you for watching.